This is a video on how to use the sheet music editor part of the song editor in Power Music. This is the version that was released in May 2015. I'm just going to move into the editor by clicking on Edit Song. I have a piece of music selected here. It's the Entertainer by Scott Joplin. And if I click on Edit Song, it will take me straight into the sheet music editor. Okay, this is a layout of the sheet music editor. In the other video, which is the overview of the song editor, I've talked about the panes down the left-hand side of this screen. I'm now going to talk about the actual sheet music editor. There's a number of tabs across the top of this part of the screen here, and they allow us to edit a piece of music that we've already got in the system. We can add music from PDF using a flatbed scanner, using a document scanner, or from image files we already have and we have a tab for song parts and I'll deal with that in a separate video. That's where we can put in different parts for a piece of music, parts for different instruments or parts in different keys. Let's look first of all then at the page editor. So whatever page is selected at the bottom here, that's the page that we'll be working on. Once we've selected a page, there's a number of operations we can apply. We can rotate the music round. We can crop it, so if I select an area and crop, we can de-skew it, and this is if you've scanned in a piece of music and it's not straight on the screen, the stave bars aren't horizontal, this will automatically de-skew it. Adjustment allows us to change the contrast and brightness, and again, it's just sliders, you can move these up and down to change the brightness and contrast and apply it there. Again, that's very useful if you've been scanning in music or you have image files that are maybe grey in the background and you want to bring up the contrast of the music. The zoom mode just allows you to zoom in so you can actually work on your music in more detail if you want to and you can zoom it back out to fit to the screen. If you make any changes to the music, you must click on the Apply Changes to apply that to the piece of music that has been selected. If you want to make a copy of a piece of music or want to add the edited screen as a new page, just click on Add as New Page. I'll give you an example now of how we might use this to enlarge a piece of music, supposing it was a, a visually impaired musician that wants to see this as a, a larger display on the screen. I'll very quickly show you how we can use the editor to accomplish this. So let's take page one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two bars, two staves, sorry, like that, and I'm going to crop to that and I'm going to say add that as a new page. So you'll notice down here this page has now been added. I go back to my page one and I do the same thing for the bottom half of the screen and I crop it and I add it as a new page. I can now take page one and remove that and then move this page up to the start just by dragging it and put this page after it and I've now got page one split into two parts here. If I want to see that on screen full size I just click on preview. It's set for two pages per screen so I need to go back and change that to one page per screen. Go preview and there I have the first page. I click on there to get the second page. So this is a kind of thing you can do very very easily using the page editor. Of course, the important thing at the end is to save your changes. So once you've uh, made the changes to the sheet music, you either click on the save down here or the save up here to save the changes you've made to the sheet music. That's the sheet music editor page. I will also do videos on importing from PDF, flatbed scanner, live scanner, and there'll be a detailed video on using parts.